All right, so I've had this jack for about a year now, so I thought it'd be an opportune time to do a review of the tool. So it's uh, it's been good. I'm happy with it. So if uh, I point out anything negative, it's not that I'm being negative. It's just that there are things I wish were better. So you can see here, I'm lifting up a jacks, a trailer. So this trailer's jack is broken. So this is a kind of a good application for this tool. So to, just to take a look at it, you've got this extension piece, and this goes on here. So it would be nice, I think, if this was a bit easier to remove. And uh, I haven't damaged the uh, plate here yet, but I think I have the second model of this tool. But still, it's not always easy to get that in there, because they do squish down a bit. And this rubber piece is too thin. It should be, uh, maybe they should give two of them, like a thin one and a thick one. And it doesn't really index into this thing in any rhyme or reason. Well, maybe it does. But uh, this is a great idea. I'm glad it has the extension, but I think it could be improved upon a little bit. Because the rubber is not going to protect anything. I usually put a leather glove in between. I need to uh, protect something. And then being the nature of this style of a jack, it's going to be lifting sideways whenever you're trying to lift something up and putting it down sideways as well. I don't know if this trailer is going to unhook. I might have to roll the vehicle forward. It's kind of hung up on the hitch. Oh, let go. So you can see there, I'm pretty high off the ground. It didn't take too many pumps. But one thing uh, that I did notice is that uh, it would be handy if there was like a little parking pole or something for parking the wheel so it doesn't roll around a lot. So I have this uh, in my trailer fairly often, or I'll put it in the back of my vehicle here. And it just rolls around. You gotta kinda put it on its side. Kinda like well, the bottles are not really a great thing to have in there, but anyway. So it rolls around, so you can take the handle off really easily, which is a positive. But you probably recognize this jack, because the main jack here is just a cheap Chinese thing. So I always take the handle off and you can toss it in your vehicle. You can split it in half again, but I never do. So I take that off and uh, just turn it upside down. And you can tighten that back up again. So that's good. So I have to move the vehicle forward here just to uh, put this down. But you'll see that it, like when I lifted it, moved sideways. But all jacks are like that, this style of jack anyway. It would be kind of interesting if they could make an articulating one that didn't do that quite as much. So uh, I just move the vehicle forward, put this down, then we'll take the jack out and take a look at it. So I just plop this down now. It's got relatively good control. So you can go slow or fast. You can just slam it down if you wanted to. And luckily, I had enough clearance that I could pull this out. It was getting pretty close. So as long as you gotta dig a hole. One thing is that even though it has got really big wheels on it, once you put any sort of weight on it, you can't move it because it just digs into the ground, which is probably good. You don't want something you're lifting up to roll away on you. So one thing I didn't like about this is the uh, this holder here for the uh, extension it gets in the way all the time. You can't get the jack under the vehicle. The fairing or something might be in the way to prevent you from getting access. So that's kind of annoying. So I'm going to take that off one day when it really becomes a problem. You can see that I've smacked it a little bit here, doing something with it. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's tough. I haven't got any problems. But being that it's on its side, you do need, when I'm storing it most of the time, 
you do have to lift it up and down a couple times just to get the air out of it. So let's take a look on it underneath here. So you can see it's got like a, a skid plate on it, which is handy. So like my tra her trailer is up in the air, my shed's up in the air. So I just lift it up with the handle and drag it in and it slides in on the skid plate and nothing gets damaged. So that's good. You'll see that there's two different colors of wheels on these products. This one's got the black ones. And like I said, I think this is like the second generation of it. I bought this in, uh, well it was given to me as a gift in 2019. And the earlier ones might be a bit different as far as I know. So there's that. And I've never used it in mud, but I imagine it would be a pain because it would fill up with mud with the skid plate. You might want to cut some holes in it because the skid plate's not structural. If you're using it for that kind of service, you can just take it off. There's a couple just uh, Allen key screws to take it apart. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm happy with the tool. It does the job. Sometimes it won't fit under a car. It's just like a half an inch too tall for the vehicles I own. They can't make it for every vehicle, obviously. So it's still, you need to have another lower profile jack for vehicles. But the problem I had with the low profile jacks was that the aluminum ones especially is that the casters snap off. If you try to twist it a little bit with any weight on it, you can break off the casters and then you gotta drag it around, which is a bit annoying. So anyway, uh, we're about seven minutes in here just about. And I'll uh, say that it's a, a good jack. It was overpriced when I bought it. But maybe they've come down in price, maybe they've gone up, I don't know. But uh, it does the job uh, very well, and it's handy. People always are surprised when they see it. I think it's a super heavy duty. It's a three ton jack, but the wheels make it so much easier. As you can see, like I'm outside, I don't need to drag it through the dirt and like plow a, a row into the ground as I'm doing it. So that uh, is excellent. So thank you for watching.